Here we will show you how to extract Tuya GPIO configuration from a beacon device after flashing it. The following method will work even after it has been flashed via Wi-Fi by Tuya Cloud Cutter. Tuya configuration extraction will allow us to automatically configure GPIO of the device without any guessing. You will immediately get information which GPIO is used for relay, which for button and so on. The following method is working even for power metering sockets with BL chips. It's also working for LED lamps with L2C controllers. Most of the device types are covered. Ok, so first you need to know that Tuya GPIO config is not lost when you flash Open Beacon. It's still in the device memory. In the future, Open Beacon will most likely be able to import it directly, but for now you need to do three steps. First, in Open Beacon, go to Web Application, open the Flash tab, and click the button to download Tuya GPIO config. Now wait for download to finish. It may take some time, device may reboot during that. After some time, this will download a 72 kilobytes file with Tuya config to your computer. Then, open our BK7231 Easy UI Flasher, go to the Tuya config extraction tab and drag and drop your file there. Now you have extracted the config, good job, but there is one more step to do. It's time to just copy and paste the generator JSON. Copy it from UI Flasher tool, and then you can paste it into Open Beacon Web App, look for the Import tab. Paste the extracted JSON, verify the script, you can also modify it if you like it, and finally, press the button to execute it. The script should execute without any errors, but if there is a problem, you can always modify it to suit your needs. That's all, now you can also consider restarting your device, but that's not needed in most cases. You can also adjust some of the GPIO roles, for example, you can change the LED role to LED with N suffix, so the LED state is inverted. If you are flashing an energy metering socket, you also should go to Web App, open Tab Tools and do the calibration there. Feel free to check out also the other options in Tools tab. You can also now export the Open Beacon template from Config tab and post it on our forums with some extra information so we can add it to our devices list. There is one more thing to note. You can also read the 2 MB flash dump directly by UART. Just use read backup option from our flasher. This method will also work and provide you a GPIO configuration. The method we have shown here should work most of the time with the exception of Tuya MCU devices and some custom devices that have hard-coded behavior. In case of Tuya MCU, you can try using our Tuya MCU analyzer. See links in the video description. But it's a topic for another time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forum. We can help you with running your devices without a cloud in a fully local way. You can also visit our device turndowns list, which has currently over 300 entries. See you on the forum.